The St. Monica's College of Education is the only female Anglican College of Education in Ghana. The college has seen nine female past principals and the Venerable Dr. being the 10th principal happens to be the first male. The official letter for his appointment was duly read by the Archbishop of CWPA, Most Reverend Dr. Cyril Ben Smith, who also serves as the Chairman of the College Governing Board. Appointment as principal St. Monica's College of Education, Mampon Asante. Venerable Dr. Oche Kranche, St. Monica's College of Education, Box 250, Mampon. Dear sir, I'm pleased to inform you that the Governing Council of St. Monica's College of Education has confirmed your appointment as principal of the college. You have therefore been appointed as a substantive principal of the college with effect from 1st November 2022. Your appointment shall be a contract period of four years. The salary attached to the grade is SS grade 2 for each. You start on step one. Your incremental date will be 1st January each year, starting from January 2023. He was hence called upon to be roped, presented with a mass, inducted, and made to pay alignment to the administration of oath of office. I, Venerable Doctor David Dr. Franklin, Having been appointed to the High Office of Principal, having been appointed to the High Office of Principal of St. Monica's College of Education, of St. Monica's College of Education, as a team and point, as a team and point, do in the name of Almighty God swear, do in the name of Almighty God swear that I will be faithful, that I will be faithful and truthful to the college, and be truthful. That I will at all times, that I will at all times preserve, preserve, protect, protect, and defend the statutes of the college. And defend the statutes of the college. By the authority conferred on me by the House of College of Education, I, the most reverend of Council of Government Smith, Council Chair, invest you, Venerable Dr. David Oji Branty, as principal of the Monica's College of Education. On this Friday, it's been a During the official address as the principal, Venerable Dr. Crunchy emphatically stated that he will make students, their learning and success a priority, including enhancing opportunities for students and teachers. The mission of the college says that St. Monica's College shall become one of the best colleges of education in Ghana. And in achieving this, St. Monica's College of Education shall serve as a center of excellence for training teachers for the basic schools and inculcate in them the product of academic, spiritual and humanistic values which will make them effective role models in the country. I pledge to commit myself to the vision and mission statement of the college and work hard to sustain their achievements. Chair Nananum, I will make students they are learning and success a priority in my operations and will enhance opportunities for students, teachers' involvement towards improved management of the college by encouraging students' representation and participation in decision making. I will enhance guidelines for the formation and running of student led organizations, provide adequate avenues and infrastructure that will facilitate learning, expose students to all learning opportunities to develop quality leadership skills 
and enhance the study of science and mathematics to develop confidence in our products. He equally reiterated his commitment to motivate stakeholders and affiliated institutions to diligently play their roles to lift the college. I wish to reiterate my commitment to inspire all stakeholders, I mean Governing Council, JTEC, UCC alumni, and our Mampong community, and all affiliated institutions to diligently play their role to lift the college to its envisaged position of serving our nation, Ghana. St. Monica's College of Education will be an institution of choice for management, academic, and non-academic staff. And therefore, we shall work to promote proactive attitude to professional development of our tutors and ensure tutors have the necessary support and working environment to fulfill their responsibilities. And we work to improve gender equality of staff at all levels. Meanwhile, speaking in an interview with the chairman of the college governing board, Venable's capabilities, he said, had nothing to do with his gender. I mean, for, for, for starters, it was a bit of a challenge because the school is a female school. And then, so it was a bit of a challenge, but you know, you have to get to do new things. So I think there's an innovation which uh, hopefully will continue. And, and I think that the point being that both male and female have values to contribute. So we are not saying that only females. But I think because it's a, it's a female institution, we probably have more females. Uh -huh. but, but I think there's a novelty. And he being also a reverend minister uh, of the church would also go deep to incorporate uh, values, Anglican values in the school. This was his goodwill message to him. Not to rest on his oaths, and not to rest as if I've, I've, I've done enough. The sky is the limit. And interestingly, whatever you are doing is not the beginning, it's the end. So you have to ensure yourself against the end. And sometimes you might be, when you get into a position after a few years, you become a bit complacent. And so I want to encourage you not to be complacent, to move forward. Every new day is opportunity to do a new thing. So I will encourage him, after five, four years, he has a, he has a four year term, he has another, four, he, can, he can renew four years if he's up to, if he's not 60. But then the, the time that he has, my, my word will be to encourage him not to relent. The Calafo event saw the attendance of distinguished personalities and dignitaries both from the Mampon Chieftaincy, the Anglican clergy, government officials, among others, alongside cultural display to grace the occasion.